in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hey everyone, once again, it has been a fair few days since I recorded anything, I think like five, maybe six days even now, and I just got the last episode out, it took me a while to edit Rudeskip Party amongst the episode itself and other life things, so I haven't been playing the account too much in the downtime, but you'll see I've now got 75k cash, just with some AFK thieving that I've got done. I might have done a bit of magic as well. I did make a trip back to Lava Dragons, but I got PK'd after like five kills by a group of four people and lost the stuff. So nothing really to show for it other than maybe a little bit of experience gained. Generally, not been on the account very much. So today, I'm only going to be up for like an hour or two before I go to bed. I'm super tired as it is, but now that I've got the video out, I wanted to play some more. So today, and in this video, I think I'm going to primarily focus on Slayer, and that's why I'm here in Edgeville. We'll get to it in just a minute. I just wanted to mention that I also bought some nature runes and some law runes from the Major Arena shop, Deep Will Day. So, yeah. Potion stock's not looking terrible at the moment either. So yes, I want to focus on Slayer today. We have 13 Slayer, and we have a lofty goal ahead of us to unlock the city of Camtarum. I'm not actually interested in completing this quest right now, but I need to be able to get that 48 Slayer to start it and unlock the city and all the glorious goods that are inside. So, 48 Slayer is on the menu, and the only Slayer we can do is Wilderness Slayer, because if we take a task from any other Slayer Master, it could give us something outside my region and just completely block me from the skill forever. The only one that I can guarantee is going to be in a region I can do is from Crystallia here. So we are going to get our first assignment from her and see what comes up. Oh, I don't even know what's on the list, because I haven't done a great deal of it before, but... Hill Giants. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. That's actually hilarious after all the Hill Giants we've killed. Okay, I'm not mad at that at all. I think what I want to do though... Uh, no, I should, I'll should. i keep going with magic for now. I was going to say that I was going to do the goblin quest line so I could get a crossbow and start a dogish and crossbow and start training my ranged up a little more. And that, that is on the to-do list, but I think before that, I do want to get up to 55 magic so I have high level alchemy. So I'll stay on magic for now. And I guess I'll just use wind blast because I don't have anything better. And there's no way I'm taking this into the wilderness, ever. Like, the only way the glory ever makes it into the wilderness is if I have a spare one. Question is, can we enchant a diamond necklace? Because I did get one. 57, 51, nah, not yet. It's a shame. Could have made a power, which I would have been comfortable to take out with me, because it's more easily obtainable, far more easily obtainable than a, than a glory. We've got a diamond amulet there, but don't think we have a power. Okay, so it's going to be the accuracy. It's going to be me looking up where hill giants are in the wilderness. Oh, I think they're super deep, aren't they? They're in the dungeon. Oh, there's some in the lava maze that's deep too. Oh, there are some there further south where the black chins are. There's only two, but I think that's probably better than doing the ones in the deep wildy. I'm just gonna have to run out there and see where it is. I have a jeweling ring. Ah, oh, fuck it. Budget Fedora it is. Budget Fedora. 
We'd want a dragon shield because they're free. So we can always take those as an offhand if there's not better. I think that's like all we want. Oh, I should go do an LMS game to get some more blighted food. I'll go do a game or two before. Okay, I got one point already. So I can get some food, but let's see if we can get a couple more. Don't want to spend ages here though. I do want to focus on last layer in this episode. Looks like I just spawned in next to three bots, so... This is just three points. Okay, okay. I don't know if they actually were bots, but... I stick around because they both look shit enough that I could beat them. I even know you could go up ladders in LMS. Ooh. Uh, I don't really want a granite mall. I'm not good enough with them. Oh, we're right next to the final zone as well. My game sound's not on. I feel like I'm not hearing stuff. Guess this guy just doesn't know how to long range. So annoying with this DD in. To God, this guy. So annoying. I think he's out though. Yeah, fuck you, man. I'm not giving you a good fight. You don't deserve shit after that. Oh, I do though. Hello. Hello. Oh, they just start on each other. That means I get an automatic second. That was a quick fight, fuck me. I didn't even realise they were done. And there's my Verax on the floor. Okay. Well, this guy's way better than me, obviously. Oh my gosh. Splash C. Splash C. Yeah, I had no shot. Five points though, second place on my first game just coming back into it. We take those. I am not upset with that at all. That lets me get one of these. Uh, let's get two of them actually, why not? And we may as well just get two of these as well, why not, why not? Oh, I might get blighted in Tangle Sacks. Then I can bring in Tangles with me without having to bring my Nature Rune Supply. That's actually a sick idea. Just in case to get away. Should I get a looting bag as well? That's not a bad idea, is it? It's worth it, I think. Nice, one game got me all the points I needed to restock. Feel much more comfy. Wait, does this not do binds too? Because I don't have Tangle yet. Tangle, snare, or bind? Is it because I'm not actually in the wilderness right now? If I just bank everything real quick. Yeah, as soon as I get out here, it shows up. Okay. Then yeah, we've got binds. I'm gonna get these tagged on my mage as well. Okay, so this is what I'm going with, and honestly the food and supplies are just in case of a PK. We shouldn't need those against a hill giant. We have fuck all on us. No risk, pretty much. Zami robes, like, and just food. Yeah, like, if hand boots are in our items being kept, we're doing fine, you know what I mean? So yeah, I am gonna make a short trip out there just to, to see how it is. 
but I'm not expecting to complete this task today. How big was it? 75. I should probably now hop that. I've put that in public chat. Alright. Off we go for our first Slayer task ever. Already panicking. No reason to. Yeah, we should be in a safe area if we can fa- Oh, I forgot the jeweling ring. Okay. Good job I realised. Oh, we're still relatively close. Okay, so ideally we can get a hill giant safe spotted and then if anyone pops up we will be able to hop. But I don't know how easy it'll be to safe spot them around here. But the reason I want the safe spot is so that we can make sure we're not in combat which means we can hop anytime. I mean no one's gonna really be around here anyway I don't expect. I'm gonna untag big bones. Those ghosts are aggressive, that's annoying. Can we use this thing to surf spot? I don't know if we can see around it. Yeah, the only problem is going to be respawn timers, because there's only two of these. I don't know how long they take to respawn. It's not too slow. To be honest, I might just camp this one over here, because this one's much more annoying to try and surf spot. And it did respawn relatively quickly. There's 14 Slayer making strides. What are we going to again? 48? Be there in no time. I'm going to forget that constantly, so maybe not the best place to set a tracker in the middle of the wilderness, but fuck it. I'll forget if I don't do it now. Like I say, I'm very out of the way here, so I don't expect to really encounter anyone unless somebody comes down towards green dragons, but 15 seconds on the respawn timer. There's 15 slow. Only 2,303 more hill giants, or their equivalent in HP, till we hit our goal. I know the guy to be scared of that guy, I think he was naked. I just saw a person all logged out, I panicked. I panicked like crazy because I was sat here. Hands off the wheel, rolling a spliff, not paying attention. And then I saw a name and I just panicked. <sighs> I'm way too complacent already. I think it's just because I'm tired. I don't think I should do this for much longer today. I don't think that person was anything I should have worried about, but I'm going to have this spliff break and then I'm going to kill 10 more and then I'm probably going to do call it there because I'm tired and I shouldn't be out in the wilderness while I'm being this stupid. But I am excited tomorrow to crack on and actually do multiple Slayer tasks. I got no plans. All day. Okay. Gonna squeeze a little bit more out. Hopefully no more panics that were entirely self-caused. Mm. Rather not. He was probably just going to dragons, but... I actually just hopped back into that world I was in because I knew the giant was super low. And I thought, that guy is just going to dragons. Maybe we can catch him. He's just over the line right now. Oh, but it's... I'm not in multi, that's why. Or is he not in multi? Fuck. He must know. I don't have anything except wind strike. He can teleport anytime he likes. And someone else is coming. No, they're, they're not. This feels so sketchy. Like, if this guy owns another account, I'm just fucked right now. This could be a dragon sword. Like, it must be getting low. Done a lot of damage. This must be a bot. I gave him ample time. Like I, I said, if you're a human, reply and I will offer you. God damn, this is long, man. This bot really just wants to go back to his dragons. I feel like I can drag him further away from his goal, or maybe lure him into a less dangerous territory for getting interrupted. Oh no, he tellied! No! There was someone else over here a second ago. They're not gonna be here now, are they? Okay. Brilliant. Okay, maybe don't try and PK people with fucking wind strike, mate. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? 
Okay, I think that's uh, enough to tell me I should go to sleep. I will properly resume this tomorrow. Alright folks, it is the next day and instead of going straight back there, after failing to kill multiple obvious bots with fucking wind strike, you know, I've just remembered the elemental changes they made to spells didn't change normal spells in PvP. Like they made wind strike scale up to the same as fire strike, but it only in PvM. That's why I was doing so shit, because it's not as good as I was expecting it to be. Interesting. Okay, so no cheaping out on wind strike for PvP kills. That's fair enough. The main thing I was trying to say though is that I've decided to go to do the goblin quests because I just want to get like a better, I don't know, I don't want to call it a tribrid setup because this plus a bone crossbow plus a bone dagger isn't really a setup, but uh, it's what I'm going to be rocking. So yeah, we're going to go and get hold of that and we might just need a little bit of combat runes to get some of the, uh, the goblin males, but I'm going to run over there. I already got the blue die and the orange die from Aggie. I had wood leaves from my horrible farming journey and the other stuff. Onions, red berries, easy enough to get. I also made myself a candle lantern just now before turning the camera on. Easy enough to make. The candle itself comes from a item spawn upstairs in the clove shop in Virok. We go up a ladder, there's a lit candle on the table, which putting the candle on. And yeah, that'll be for the next quest after this one. I haven't decided if I'm going to do Death to the Dorgachin yet, but I probably will, because it unlocks the special attacks of the bone weaponry. But we're at least going to start with these first two and see how we get on today. So I'm going to have to run down to Goblin Village through the wilderness every time I want to get there, because... I do not have this area, so, yeah, <laughs> here goes. Oh, there is Goblin Diplomacy, easy enough. Lost Tribe next. Oh, I don't have Lumbridge Telly up yet. Seven minutes, guess I'm going for a spliff. There's nothing else I could possibly do. I've only been recording six minutes, but I guess it's time for a break. I think I may as well just get some magic XP while I'm rolling here and waiting for that cooldown. Hey, they finally fixed the thing! The black square is no longer there. Bars. Nope, it is. It's just because I haven't done that part yet. Fix this Jagex, what the fuck? Imagine you're a new player and you're doing this quest for the first time. And you just see this. You're just like, uh, what? <laughs> My first room patch load out. Barok teleports. I'm gonna grab this dueling ring as well and just reset my run energy there. I feel like it's slightly more resource efficient, probably, to use dueling rings. Emeralds are that hard to get hold of versus Harlanders are kind of finite. I suppose we could grow them, but seeds we need then. Basically gonna try and get into the habit of resetting at Ferox as much as I can to save on energy potions. And now we have to go to Goblin Village again. Oh, I'm gonna want to teleport back to Lumbridge again, aren't I? Okay, basically gonna go as far as I can without passing by this house and then and then we can come back in in our little box up here. I should go around that way rather than going all the way down there, yeah. Though annoyingly I didn't put all of this in. I covered like the very entry bit, so technically I could lure them over here, but it'd be a bit sketchy. So currently if I want to get replacement Zami robes, the only way is the, the only other way at least, is the monk in uh, in the Varrock castle that you telegrabbed them from. That's where I got my replacements after losing them to a Pika. Okay, back to Lumbridge. Can be a little more frivolous with our teleports now we have access to a law rune shop. Still don't want to use them if we can avoid it though by using things like minigame teleports and bottom teleports because we don't have a massive law runes. <laughs> Still sank f six entire energy potions on that quest. Ugh. We're not actually done yet, even. Almost there, though. So I think I'm just gonna go straight onto the next part of this so I can unlock the specials. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go do some thieving before I actually turn in this quest in and see if I can pick myself up two ham sets. We have quite a high thieving level, so we shouldn't have too bad of a failure rate on these ham now. We are 50 levels above the required level to thieve from them, so should be a reasonable rate, I reckon. Okay, and I'm actually just gonna switch over in the quest helper so I can see things highlighted when I've done them. Oh, increases massively after starting the quest. Okay, I should go turn this in, never mind. Now I wish I brought energy. Wait, why is it telling me to talk to Mystag? Oh, I'm on the wrong quest, that's why. Fucking idiot. I do need to come back through here after the... Oh, count check. Thank you very much. I guess Herblar's probably not a bad shot. Slayer wouldn't be terrible either, actually. But we're not as high of a level, so we won't get as much value out of it. I'm gonna go Herblar. Oh, fuck, I should have got cash as well. And there is the Lost Tribe done. Even got 50 mining out of it. What a good deal. Uh, right, we're gonna go straight on to death, like I say. We also got a Ring of Life. Can't imagine that'll be entirely relevant for our account, but... Maybe there'll be some niche scenario where I want to use it. I'll have to look up how it properly works. I've never really made use of them before. Or a uh, hardcore thing, I think. Okay, so I need the disguises now. That's fine. I am going to go and get myself one bone dagger, one bone crossbow, a lot of bolts. I don't want to spend all my money. I just want to get a decent amount. In fact, I'm going to get two more of each of these because I'm going to be taking them into the wilderness when I use them, so I would like to have replacements. Okay, now it's time to get all our uniform together. It should actually be showing some of them ticked off already because I have some in the bank. Well, I'm hoping we don't fail too much. Okay, we got double boots. Good start. Hey, finally got a logo. Just need one more now. I've been keeping like spare boots and gloves and stuff because I actually just don't have like regular things in that slot so I figured we may as well. Shit man. Tens of this isn't bad with prayer on. Same for these axes and pickaxes like these are my best in slot of them tools at the minute so I should keep spares in case I'm in the wilderness and lose them. Oh I think we just did it. Cool. Didn't take too long. Oh, I should have brought Melly. This is not going very well. I figured I may as well get some more magic XP, but this is splashing a lot. The guards were easy. This guy's just tanking. I guess he's got a leather body and a defense on me, so that's some mage defense. I have zero accuracy right now. This stuff negative. Check, right? No. All safe. We might be here a while. Also, I haven't hit yet. I'm gonna try staff bashing. It's already better than fucking Virgin. What the fuck? Got there eventually. Glad I swapped over. Fuck knows how long that would have taken if I just kept splashing on him. Alright, there it is. Death to the dog shin is done. I don't think we need to do another slice of ham with any real urgency. Got one or more range levels there. Not sure what we were on. I think we're on like 41, but that seems like a lot. Oh, can we not do this? I guess we've already got access to Doggishan, which is what Doggish can, which is what I wanted. Not for any specific reason, just because it's part of Lumbridge. But this one needs Giant Dwarf, which is outside regions, and that's a bit more... We don't really need to progress this any further. The Ancient Mace would be nice, but it doesn't really make sense for us to progress that any further. So it looks like we're done with the Doggishan quest line. We do have access to the city now. And we have access to the bone weaponry shop. So we can now use the spec attacks on our crossbow and dagger, which decrease the defense of our enemies by whatever we hit for. Which could be nice in some PvP scenarios. Dagger is also poisonable, so if we manage to pick up some weapon poison from an Anku, could definitely do some bits with that. But yeah, looking good. I think I'm going to have a smoke break and then head on over to the hill giants again. What I'm going to do is actually just make a wild set I could do with another LMS game. I don't... Unless I saved a point, I don't have blighted supers. No, I didn't. I'm going to do that before I go for a smoke as well, actually. 
crack it out. We got four points. That's all I needed. Get a few of these, just stock up. Alright, folks, this is the wild setup. Fully put together. For now, at least. Obviously, it's going to improve and improve and improve over time. Right, here we go then. Off back into the wilds. We are going to hunt down some hill giants and maybe kill some bots. Though I still don't really have anything better than Windstrike, because this isn't exactly going to hit any better against fucking rune armor that the guy was wearing yesterday, for example. Right, it's just not going to work. So I'll just kill this, just in case. Maybe if I actually put my spell on, that might help. No drop! What? Oh, hell no. Just doing a quick scout of the area. See if there's anyone chilling over there looking suspiciously bottish before I start. Wait, what is this? I'm teleblocked. Okay, I should log. <laughs> I forgot those wizards teleblock you. Oh, good job I noticed that. Could have been awkward if I got caught and I was accidentally teleblocked from the Zami Mage. 52 magic. I will take six nature runes. I'm not going to complain about that any day. And there's 16 Slayer. Ooh, we got a giant key. The only real potentially interesting drop from these guys, other than the giant's keys that let us maybe get some more Obor kills, which could have decent loot, I guess, is the Laren's keys. I suppose we could also get a Slayer enchantment as well, but that's less exciting. Laren's keys, though, if we get one of those and we don't get it PK'd from us, then we'll cross another task off the list. Plus, there's some very juicy goodies that you can get inside that chest, of course. I am hoping to see a lot of Laren's keys over the course of this account's progress. Maybe even get so lucky as to see a Dagon High robes piece, because I am expecting us to have to do a lot of Slayer in the wilderness. 17 Slayer? Very slow. Mainly because waiting for respawn timers, but I don't really want to be in the deep wilderness where higher leveled players can attack me. Ideally, I'm hoping for like a few quick tasks. If we can get any tasks that are quick and easy, like I don't even know if it's... Maybe I should look up the list while I'm like waiting for spawners, as long as I'm remaining vigilant. Let's have a look, see what she can offer. Bears, I guess, wouldn't be too bad, although the higher mounts... No, you can actually get a Lava Dragon task. Yeah, I don't think we can get those tasks until we've done Dragon Slayer, though. Maybe maybe we should do Dragon Slayer so that we can get Dragon tasks in the wilderness. Because that would help the Slayer grind a lot. It would give us access to a lot more tasks. Basically, just anything that's, like, weak and we don't have to kill that many, just a quick task is what I want because we our first five tasks don't give us any Slayer points. So until we've got the first five done, we just want to get very quick tasks. And then after that, Crystallia's rate is actually really good. She gives 25 points for every task and 125 for every tenth. And obviously the, the multiplier goes up, the DP you get into that. But yeah, as a baseline, she's really good. She's almost enough points for a skip. But we have to get pr through those first five before we can get any points from it. Oh wait, we can be assigned dragons immediately after starting the quest. We don't have to finish it to be assigned dragon. So we can still get dragon tasks, I think. I just looked it up. There's no rush to make my decision there. Still on dragon slayer. 18 slayer. 30 more levels to go. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go make a coffee. Slump woken up properly yet. Big ol' 19 slayer. But you never thought it'd happen. The real question is, will I complete my task? before 420, which is 22 minutes away. Pretty sure I'm getting more than one kill a minute. And there is 20 Slayer. I think we started this task on 13 maybe, so done all right from it, seven levels. Just has taken us a long time with all the waiting around. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, the mind runes are kind of not it. I'm very much considering trying to make some quick cash so I can just buy a big old stack of chaos runes or even death runes. Kind of depends what our next task is as well, because if it's not one that we care about mage for, then... And there's our very first slayer task completed. Going straight back to Edgeville to see what the next one is. Eight minutes still before 420. Plenty of time. What has Crystallia got for us in her bag of goodies today? Skeletons. I'm just curious. 
Nah, I didn't think that was gonna work. I thought it was worth a shot though. Okay, okay, skeletons is not too bad. They're low level. They're low wilderness level as well. That's a, a nice quick easy on 75 skeletons. Let me just look them up, see if there's a better spot potentially, and if they have an elemental weakness, I think it's air. Yeah, they've got 35% air weakness. So, oh, we could use crumble undead as well. That needs chaos, air, and earth. We can't auto cast off this. We could off the stronghold scepter. Okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to go and invest in some chaos runes. I don't have a great deal of cash at the minute, but... Thing is, we probably don't need them against the skeleton, because they'll die quickly enough anyway, but they do have 24 hit points, so... I got three packs, yay! Probably should have bought them one at a time to save money even more, but... Oops. I guess that's how many we have. Yeah, I will save these for a different task. Is there anything I can liquidate for some cash? All these house keys. Now, I don't feel like we have anything that's worth enough to be worth selling. Like, I'd rather just wait until we have high-level alchemy at this stage. I'm gonna make myself a magic amulet, though, get that accuracy up a little bit higher, because I lost my last one to, uh, Pika. In fact, let's just make three. May as well just have these all made into magic amulets, because we might lose more in the will day. It's looking like the best spot to kill these will be just north of Ice Mountain, south of the Dark Warriors Fortress. Rather be there than like within the sight of Edgeville where PKs are likely to teleport in. Alright, slayer task number two, here we come. I don't think we really need to worry about save spotting these, but it looks like there's a lot of rocks around here, so I may as well if I'm able to. But I might get tagged by another one walking past. Oh, that guy can't tap me. Gotta be a little scared when you see somebody walking up to you with a whip. It's only healthy. Max hit a 10 against these with the wind strike. It's not terrible. Three hit that one. Oh, a dragon implant. I'm level 9 hunter. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch that one. Well, there's the first slayer level of this task, 21. They're actually better than hill giants, I think, just because of the extra damage bonuses we get on the same exact same spell. Hill Giants have a few more HP, I can't remember what their exact HP is, but it's something like 32. These guys have 29, and the Slayer XP is based on HP, you can see there I get 29 per kill. The only time Slayer XP changes is if specific Slayer enemies have modifiers on them, uh, particularly bosses, like all bosses have modified Slayer rates. They get like a 1.5 times or whatever. But yeah, when I'm just killing like random mobs, at the start of my Slayer journey is basically based on their HP levels. So if this is only like three difference from a hill giant, three HP difference per kill, and we can max it two higher and we're more accurate, then they are superior. Especially when we're trying to chug through these early tasks as well. Not waiting for spawn timers either. There's no drops here at all, other than potentially Laren's Keys, but can you even get Laren's Keys on things below, like, 99 HP? I feel like there's something about that. I'll look it up. Oh, it's based on the level. It's like 1 in 2000, though. 1800, maybe, for a skeleton. 1 in 1144. Oh, I think they might have become tolerant to me now. If they have, that's actually really nice. I couldn't remember if things could become tolerant in the wilderness, or if it was just, like, infinite. Renarweed, also very nice. Ooh, hello. Level 90. Don't have to worry about that. 22 Slayer. I imagine how quick this task would be with a cannon. You would fucking smash it out. It would take, like, two minutes. Just be one hitting all of them with cannonballs. Unfortunately for us, we'll never own a cannon. Don't have Kandarin or Asgard here. But that also fortunately means we never have to make cannonballs. So that's nice. I suppose technically we could PK cannon, but I'm not sure if you can use it if you haven't done the quest. I don't think you can. I don't know why that skeleton decided to run to the lava maze. 
Oh, I think it reset my aggro and it dragged me over there. That's so annoying. There's 23 Slayer though. And there's 53 Magic. Just two levels away from High Alchemy now will be pretty big for us to unlock that one. Will allow us to get money out of anything alchemical much easier than having to sell it to a general store. That being said, we do have access to the general store in the wilderness now that buys things at high alchemy price. So, could be a spicy place to go if we need to. But yeah, we're almost there now. I feel like we might be beyond that. Please form an orderly queue. Ooh, we got a Slayer's enchantment. Here's our first one of those. We can officially make... An imbued Slayer staff that we cannot use anytime soon. I think it's 75 magic is the requirement, and I think you need 50 Slayer as well. Nice to have one though. They do run out, so like once we are in a position to use it, having multiples isn't bad. Not that I can see us using a Slayer staff a great deal, but who knows? Maybe we may will, because magic dart's probably not that bad, is it? And it's low risk. You don't have to bring expensive runes. Slayer Dart might actually be, like, really good for our account. Unless we happen to PK a Trident or something. But most of the time, that's probably not going to be being risked anyway, I imagine. Yeah, long way away from the required level for that one, though. 55 Slayer and 75 Magic for the enhanced stuff. You can use the regular one already if we had the Slayer levels. There we are. It's the last one down. Relatively uneventful task. Got us 500 less XP than the same amount of hill giants. 450 to be precise. Not a terrible task at all. It was far quicker. Bears! I know there's some around the entrance to the Revenant Cave. I just don't want to go outside the Rev Caves if I don't have to. Okay, there's three not far from where I am. No elemental weaknesses. I think I'd want to get this one done just as quick as I can. It's not going to be that interesting. So I'm going to take the chaos on this one. 84 as well. It's quite a lot. They have 27 HP each, but they're only combat level 21. Can't remember what the skeletons had. 17 each. So the quite high HP per combat level in comparison. No way really to save spot here either though. I think I'm just gonna have to tank them. Okay, it's kind of easy to get them stuck on the trees actually. Just keep using run energy, that's the thing. 24 slow. Halfway. I mean not in runescape math, but halfway in real math. 25 slayer. Definitely not the best task. Probably not the worst either though. Okay, I'm actually just gonna take a little break. I need to get some food, make another coffee. Just wake up a bit more. So I basically logged straight on when I woke up today. And I just haven't woken up fully yet. See you guys in a bit. 26 slayer there. It's actually quite a few hours later on in the day from when I last recorded. Ended up taking quite a big break. Playing the RuneScape board game online via tabletop simulator with a friend of mine so yeah it's been uh been quite a while but back at it for a bit more slayer as i'm winding down my day quite tired though more capable than perhaps i was yesterday almost done with this task now i decided to finish off the rest of it with just the mind runes i've only got 100 chaos runes left i did do a little bit of thieving in volumor uh, with our house keys just during downtime off cam I got like 40k, nothing major. Not enough to sustain extended use of Chaos Runes. It's just not worth it. Like, I'm not even noticing that much slower kills. Seems fine. Probably slower magic XP, mind. But, eh. We don't actually get any Slayer monsters for quite a while, do we? I don't know if there's any Cockatrice or maybe Pyrefiends might be the earliest Slayer creature in the wilderness. I really don't know what Slayer creatures in the wilderness, but pretty sure most of these are like Lumbridge area or desert, you know. Yeah, we really don't get shit to like 50 blood valves, jellies and shit. Three tasks down. What is bro doing? He's splashing in the wildy. 
I have no idea what that guy's doing, but I'm not taking the bait. Revenants. Uh, we need 100k. This could be both a blessing and a curse. It could make us a lot of money, but it could also lose us money if we get caught by somebody. And we need to make some money to be able to even walk through the door. Uh, at least 60k more. That's a lot of money. Don't really have a great method of making cash at the minute outside of this, and it's slow. I mean, if we had a couple of rune drops, that could be good. Maybe I'll go try bar a couple times. Just doing the mage method. Oh, I can use my glory because this is safe. All right, fuck it. Let's just send these. See if we get any random cash drops from Obar. Just gonna have to be real careful not to like melee me when the bands. I should have brought more energy, shouldn't I? So I can kite him around. Okay, here it goes. Okay, that was not too bad. And we got rune plate legs. Let's go. That is a cash drop. That's exactly what I wanted. Although I can't alk it right now. Still two levels off and I can't get a wizard's mind bomb. I'm going to have to wait for some run energy to regenerate, but I'm just going to go straight back in for another one it does. And there's Obar for the third time. 41 nature runes. It's not a terrible drop, but it doesn't make us any cash right now. Okay. Can we minigame Tally from here? No, still need a fair bit more money. But the room plate legs are a good start. Alright folks, I'm taking some goodies to the bandit camp and selling them to the vendor there. Getting there might be a bit of a struggle. Not sure what the best way to come in is. It's probably this side, but we're going to take a lot of hits. Just taking some junk. The room plate legs the only real item of value here. But it'll add up to a decent amount. Probably won't get me all the way, but most of the way. Pretty sure we'll be fine as long as we just pray melee here. I think I'm good if he walks around here. I don't think this guy will come past him. Maybe he will. I think he'll stay there though, right? So, if I stay here and he comes, perfect. I don't have inventory spit. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he walked away. Bang in, 54k. Didn't bring a jewel and ring. What a fucking idiot. What an absolute fucking idiot. All right, Gandalf, chill out. 93k. All right, what I think I'm going to do... don't have a water staff. I'm going to have to go to Varrock. I think I am going to go back to the Lava Dragons. Because hopefully... I still I still need that Rune Axe for myself. But hopefully we can also just get some more things like the Rune Plate Legs that we'd be able to sell. Maybe we even come across some bots who are worth money to us. As long as we don't get caught by PK ourselves this time. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back there. I do need to grab a water staff though from my man in Varrock. Get a backup one as well. Cheap enough. My hope is we'll also make some progress towards 55 magic with this. So by killing lava dragons we'll both get towards high level alchemy and hopefully get some of my alchemy drops. Mm, always love to see a cut net. Oh, that was a nasty hit. You didn't have to be that mean to me, Mr. Lava Dragon. Ah, home. I think I actually like being further back in case a PK pops up. Just wait and see if someone hops into me. Yep. Gotta go back, because he'll probably go forward again. I'll just keep my distance. I can't stay too far back or it moves to the dragon. I basically stand one tile. Nothing on the first kill. There is 54 magic, just one level to go. So we have that high level alchemy and we can turn anything into money without needing to take it to a shop at some discount rate or some dodgy location. Rune javelins, we can probably sell those or alk them for a decent-ish amount. Not as much as it's saying, but like 10k or something. Might be enough to get us there. I've actually just thought of another thing that I said I was going to do for potential money maker, so I might just go try that instead because it's safer. But I kind of just want to see if we can get this rune axe now that we're here. Man, I don't want Avento. That adamant plate body's not bad. I'll take that. Some extra cash. That's probably enough to push us over. Do you just really want that rune axe? <sighs> Too far for the key. 
That's useless. You can never make use of that. Ooh, count check. Thanks for the herb lot. We got a decent amount. We didn't get the rune axe, but I've got a decent amount of bones here. Plus, should have enough money from the Addy plate body. But I'm still going to go and do my other potential money maker for like 15, 20 minutes anyway. Just because I want to get a feel for it. How it is at, at this low of a level. Yeah, we got to get back to Mage Bank first. And then I want a smoke before I move on to the next thing. Okay, we're in safety. Well, it's taken a long time for this game to actually be about to launch. Because there's like only enough people online for one game at the minute. And there was already a game active when I turned up. So it's been a long wait. About 20 minutes here. But we're about to get into a game of Soul Wars. And there's a couple of reasons why I think this is a good idea for us. One, the spoils of war are very valuable. They have some very nice resource drops that can be used on Iron Man. Things like runes, renar seeds, arrows and bolts, food. Literally everything that you want on an Iron Man. As well as rune items like plate bodies and legs and dragon items which can be out. So lots of money. So basically everything that we can get on the loot front is good. And the other thing that I think will make this good is these potions here because we don't have access to any ranged potions on this account but we can train ranged here with a plus 11 range boost so that's what I'm thinking yeah uh, and same for other combat skills as well it's just like free potions effectively even mage we can get a upgrade from so I'm just gonna spend time just like killing these things because we're not really high enough level for any pvp or whatever but we can get some good range training in, we can leave our prayer up and have boosts and hopefully get some good rewards too on the way. I'm not going to worry too much about who's winning or losing the game, I'm just going to make sure I'm getting my contribution. Which I think does improve if you do different actions, so I should make sure to do some different things. Oh, that's not looking good. Don't think I want to go there. I want to kill a wolf, I'm pretty sure if you bury bones that gives you zeal. I feel like the more different stuff you do, the higher your zeal is. I can't remember if there's truth to that or if I'm making it up. But So we take the bones and bury them? Only do that in a graveyard. Ah, Help the team out. Oh, burying the bones heals the avatar or something. I see. I mean, it's kind of hard to compete with an ACB with uh, a bone crossbow, but I'm being mildly annoying to people, so that's good enough for me. I'm just like not hitting all on that guy. Guess there's not much point in attacking level 126s. I'm just gonna see if I can gather some of these and sacrifice them. My throws? What's going on? Oh, there's a barricade there. Uh, I'm dumb. I don't even know you could get barricades. I feel like this is just a bad time of day for it because the only people here right now actually care about soul walls for some reason. They're all like. Super hardcore, by the way the chat goes, like they take it seriously, and I don't, so. I got 16 zeal, are you serious? That is horrific, wow. You need 30 for one crit? Oh my god, at least the next game is gonna fire, because I was with the mass of people in that one. Jeez, that was not good. Okay, killing NPCs doesn't give zeal. Killing players does. Sacrificing soul fragments, burying bones, healing teammates, dealing damage to the opposing team's avatar, and capturing graveyards or the soul obelisk, of which we captured zero through that game. I don't know. I guess just hope you're on the winning team is the answer here. Hold the L on the ones where you're not, but... I just want to get at least one crit out of it at this point. I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to be on to do it. Probably won't get to the Revenant Caves until tomorrow. Ah, Whip vs Bone Crossbow, the classic matchup. Like, do these people not just feel weird killing me? I might see if I can just sneak around to their base. Okay, so they're camping out their own base. Not a good time to try and walk up. 36 zeal from that game, so we can afford one supply crate. Definitely not feeling it right now though. We're a bit too low level and undergeared to fully take advantage of it. And 
yeah, it wasn't too hot. The time of day probably is just not not a good time right now. All the sweaty nerds are online, so I'm just gonna pop this. Yeah, that was pretty pretty subpar. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the cabbage is a junk drop, which is a one in fifty. You get three rolls, so one of them was the junk, which is unfortunate. And then just add the ammo. I don't think there's a great deal we can do with that. It's not really worth selling to a shop, but it'll be there in the bank when we want it. Just going to have to take the stuff to the Wildy General store. I'll tell you we're in Mace as well. Get my cash up. But yeah, I'm not going to go to Revs tonight because I'm getting tired, so I shouldn't. Why did I just fucking use a jewel and ring charge? I was literally right next to the ball to this place. So stupid sometimes. Why am I still on Soul Wars World? That's not a good idea either. Okay, we got our fee. Tomorrow, Rev Caves for task, Slayer task number four. Managed to get up to 26 Slayer today, so decent progress made. Decent progress. Still a long way to go before 48. Ooh, excuse me. I was looking on the task list. Still got to do Major Arena 1, we still got to obtain and equip a Fedora, still got to win a game of Last Man Standing, though we did come second again today, a very close one. And we've got to open either Lauren's chest, which will require a Lauren's key from this Slayer grind. I'm hoping we get one by the time we get to 48 Slayer, if not by then, it's uh, pretty bad RNG, but we should have one by that point. And yeah, we got ourselves a nice proper little tribrid setup going. I mean, not a proper setup, but... We're making progress, slowly but surely here, in the wilds, in the western wilds. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go, so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.